guys, and welcome back to another exciting chapter of David Walliams, Codename Bananas. Now, remember, you have a job to do once we're done with the chapter. What's that job? Answer those questions with complete sentences and restate the question. Now, easiest way I've found to do it is copy the question, paste it over into your answer, change the words to make it be your answer. That's talking in a complete sentence, and that is also restating the question. So, pay close attention to the story and let's get started with chapter 32, Sucking on a Wasp. Bombs exploded all around the three as they dashed through the streets of London. Kaboom! Dust and debris were hurled into the air. The only light that illuminated their way home was the flickering red yellow light of the fires from the bombs. Homes, shops, pubs were all ablaze with firemen and local people fighting to put them out. Thick black smoke billowed into the sky. London must have looked so strange to Gertrude, especially on a night like this. So, as much as the gorilla hugged Eric, he hugged her right back. They stayed close to the edges of the buildings, stalking in the shadows, keeping out of sight. Nearly there, hissed Sid, when they turned the corner onto his road. Stop right there, came a voice from behind them. The three froze in fear. Eric turned round. It was an air raid warden, immediately recognizable by her round tin hat, which looked like an upside-down pudding bowl. The warden was not to be messed with. She had a sour face that made her look like she was sucking on a wasp. An official-looking badge on her chest read, Nina Mirsa. What are you three doing out here on the streets after blackout? You must have heard the air raid warning. You should be in the shelter. There's been no all-clear signal yet. The three said nothing. So she flicked on her torch to give them a closer inspection. A little boy, an old man, and... A gorilla? What are you doing with a gorilla? Eric and Sid shared a look. Well, demanded Nina. It's not a real gorilla, Miss Mizra, lied Eric, reading her name badge. Miss Mizra? she corrected. Well, it looks like a real gorilla to me. It's someone dressed up as a gorilla, said the boy. We were coming from a fancy dress party. I was going as a small, wet boy, and er, uh, I was going as a zookeeper, chipped in Sid. The air raid warden approached to get a closer look. She shone the light of her torch right on Gertrude's face, who squinted. It's an incredibly good gorilla outfit, Nina remarked. She won't skimp on a gorilla outfit, lied the boy. Only the best will do. Who won't scrimp exactly? Mm, tell me, who is under there? She put her face close up against the gorilla's and stared into her eye. <laughs> Kirchard blew a raspberry. Gorilla spittle flew all over the warden's face. Splurge! She does that sometimes, remarked Eric. My aunt, um, um, Bernard. Bernard, scoffed the warden. Funny name for an aunt. Bernard's a funny aunt. Well, if you don't mind, miss, I mean, Miss Mizra, began Sid, into panic in his voice, we should be getting home. My house is just over there, you see, he said, pointing. And there are still Nazi bombers in the sky, so you can't be too careful. With that, Sid led Gertrude and Eric across the road to his house. Stop right there, came a bark behind them. The three froze like statues in the middle of the road. Your Aunt Bernard walks exactly like a monkey, too. Technically, gorillas are not monkeys. They're apes, corrected Eric, unable to stop himself when it came to animal facts. But, yes, she does like to get into character for fancy dress parties. Goodbye. The wardens marched over to the three of them. You're not going anywhere until I see who is under there. The lady put up her hand on top of Gertrude's head, who, by the look on her face, didn't like it one bit. What are you doing? asked Eric. I'm going to pull off her mask, said Nina, grabbing the tuft of hair on top of the gorilla's head. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't do that if I were you, exclaimed Sid. Why not? Aunt Bernard likes to stay in character the entire time, explained the boy. What a nonsense, proclaimed Nina. With that, 
She yanked on the girl's hair. Yeet! Yelped Gertrude in pain. Stop! Pleaded Eric. The mask won't come off, said the warden, pulling harder this time. Yee! Please stop, Eric pleaded again. Well, what? Yee! Or Aunt Bernard might. But before Eric could say whatever he was going to say next, the gorilla picked up the lady and raised her high above her head. Whoop! Put me down, protested the warden. Put me down! And that's going to do it for sucking on a wasp. Now, you have a job to do. Go and answer those questions. Restate the question by copying and pasting the question and changing it to your answer. Have a good rest of your day.